Hello, my name is Carlton Schumacher from The Hunting Page. I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about a knife buying guide. We have uh, Benchmade knives, which are as good as knives get, and I wanted to just go through the function and the style of knives to show you what to look for and possibly how to look for quality and what determines a good knife from maybe an average knife. Uh, first of all, I'll start with this knife here. Uh, it's a fixed blade knife. It's a tactical knife. So this would be something you'd use for uh, military, law enforcement. Uh, it's got a very a strong tip towards the end, mostly made for puncturing. Uh, again, the fixed blade is not something that's very portable, but it has its function in the military and law enforcement world. This is a very famous everyday carry knife. It's called the 940. Uh, it's got a titanium uh, uh, spacer in it, as well as an aluminum handle. The actual blade itself is a very unique function. It's probably not as good for camping or for hunting, but it's great for everyday use. Um, and you can take a peek at that. That's actually got a, an access lock, which most of these do here, and it's a manual opener. This knife here, if you're a collector, this is what you'd want to go after. It's in the gold class of uh, Benchmade, and it's a damascus steel knife. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's like a piece of jewelry. Uh, the, the handle is titanium, and it's got a beautiful backspacer, which is actually the same damascus steel. Uh, it's something that you'd probably collect. Maybe you wouldn't carry this every day, uh, but it's a beautiful piece. And you can kind of tell the quality as it opens and the tolerances. One way to tell very good quality knives or to look through the knife itself and to see if there's any light that comes through. The less light that comes through, the better. It means the tolerances are very tight. And these are amazing knives. Always the steel is a factor as well. Now this knife as well, this is a form and function. You're going to see it's, a, it's a, a, a knife that's made for skinning, but also it's got a gut hook. It's a fixed blade hunter and uh, it has its time and place, not, mess, not necessarily for every function, but um, you know, when you're hunting it's a great, but an everyday carry not so much. This knife here is something that you might consider as well for an everyday carry knife and how you, can, how you might choose this knife over another, it's got an assisted opening mechanism, so it actually, uh, there's a spring inside that takes over as you start opening the knife. And that might be a feature that you're interested in. It's very easy to open and very uh, easy in the hand and very firm. As you, as you hold, the hand, hold the handle, it's actually easy to maneuver. Uh, there's a deep carry clip in here, which might be a feature if you don't want to show that you're, you're brandishing the knife. You might want to just say, uh, I'm going to keep this very deep in my pocket, take it out when I need it, and that's about it. Uh, this is also a very popular knife. It's called a Greptilian is a beautiful blue spacer, so it's got both aesthetics and function. The blade style is very similar to most, a lot of blade styles out there that have a lot of functionality. Uh, not too specific to a task, so this is a great all-around knife. As well as this is the same family of knives. This is a little more upscale. This has got a little bit better steel in it, but both have amazing steel. This happened to be a, an extra special steel that they put in. And this knife here is a, is a griptilian, but you can see there's a serrated edge to it. So serration is, is common when you're cutting rope and cord, things that are very hard to, to cut, especially for EMTs, uh, potentially want to cut seat belts. Uh, that's, it's about 40% of the knife buyers will buy something with a, a serrated knife. It's great for camping applications, uh, EMT, law enforcement, but uh, in everyday carry, most people have a, a straight edge knife. They don't always need the serration, but you can see that that has a form and function as well. The opening mechanism is a little bit different. You can see there's a, a hole in there and you have to get used to doing it, but that's the opening mechanism itself. So as you see, the, the knives have different form and function. You can see that all the quality is amazing. As I open these knives, they're very smooth. They're very, very solid in the hand. If you take the knife and you try to wiggle it sideways, you're just basically rock solid. Uh, that has to do with the access lock as well. These are all great knives, but this is a well-known, famous locking mechanism that's, that's a hallmark of, of Benchmade. The steel itself. Now, if you're going to look at a knife, not all steel is the same. It might look like steel, but it really isn't. You're actually looking at um, the quality of the steel, but you can't see that they've tempered the steel to make it a certain, a certain hardness and a certain rigidity. Uh, corrosion resistance, not obvious. So a lot of times price does determine quality. As much as you'd like to think you get a great deal on a knife, it's probably the steel isn't very good. Benchmade is top of the line with steel. Every time they do something, it is the best of the best. So you can always count on a great quality knife. Knives will be handed down from generation to generation. And this is no excuse for, for buying an inexpensive knife, but it is a nice thing to think about when you do buy a good knife that you'll have it for life. Uh, there's a lifetime warranty uh, program with these guys to sharpen the knives. You can send the knives sharp back. They'll put a brand new edge on it, check for any, any uh, wear and tear, and send the knife back to you. So uh, Benchmade's got a great quality, and the brand itself is a well-known brand. You know, it feels good to carry something of quality. People like good watches. You know, watches tell time, but a, a, a Omega and a Rolex always carry a little more cachet, and that's what this does. It's actually, it feels good in your hand. It actually is functional and it's something that you can count on at all times. The steel is never going to fail, you're never going to chip it. It's really made for, for what you think it would be. Um, overall, if you need to know more about this series, this is the gold series. 
these are the, the blue series, which are gold class, blue class, and then we've got the black class, which are more tactical. And then we have the hunt class, which is a, the newer and more specific series to hunting. But all of them are available on benchmade.com. And for more about hunting and the outdoors, visit us at thehuntingpage.com. Thank you.